Hello and welcome to YouTube's for you. So in this tutorial we will set up animation shading plugin. So here is my level and currently I have 250 NPCs in my in my level and these are all AI characters which follows my player which follows the player character and currently there is no animation shading plugin setup and simple animation blueprint which is just a walk animation cycle is set up nothing else and you guys can see if i hit play the characters will follow my player and you guys can see my game time my game time is 20 or 21 milliseconds and if i exit and set up my animation shading plugin like so and if i set the animation class to none then you guys can see here is my animation shading plugin is properly set up now now if i hit play you guys can see my game time is 10 to 11 milliseconds so this is this is huge improvement because we are using the animation sharing plugin so let's get started guys so here is my default third person project is open i'm gonna go to my content browser right click and create a new folder i'm gonna call this anim sharing assets like so so first of all we will set up our so first thing you need to do is go to edit plugins and over here you guys can see animation and sharing plugin so you need to enable the plugin first and then the project will restart again so first thing first I'm gonna right click and go to my animation tab and here is my animation sharing setup so I'm gonna create my animation sharing setup I'm gonna call this simple animation sharing setup so here is the animation sharing setup template and first thing first you need to assign the skeleton I'm gonna hit plus and over there we can set our desired animation skeleton so in my case I'm gonna set the default mannequin and after this I'm gonna set the desired mesh so for this I'm gonna set the female like so so after this first you need to set up the state processor class so currently I have no state processor class for this I'm gonna hit plus icon and select my animation sharing assets and I'm gonna call this animation sharing state processor like so so here is my animation sharing state processor is activated so if I hit check out the read for documentation you guys can see here is my animation sharing state processor class and after this we will need to set up the enumeration variable enum which defines the current animation state of our character so for this I'm gonna right click go to blueprints and create a new enumeration I'm gonna call this anim sharing states like so so I'm gonna hit three times and first thing first state will be my idle second will be my walk and third will be my running you can set the 
animation states according to your need so for my case I'm gonna set the idle walk and run now I'm gonna go to my animation sharing state processor class and here in the class defaults animation state in I'm gonna set this to my animation sharing states that in emulation that we just created like so so after this we have our override function which is process actor state like so so before setting up our animation sharing state processor I'm gonna go to my content browser right click go to blueprint class and create a new character class I'm gonna call this anim sharing underscore character class like so so here is my animation sharing character class that will run the animation sharing plugin so I'm gonna create a new variable I'm gonna call this anim sharing state which defines the current state of our character for example if the character is in idle walk or run I'm gonna set this to set the variable type to anim sharing states I'm gonna now go to mesh and select the skeleton mesh which is our skeleton mesh mannequin set the location and rotation accordingly like so so the character class is now properly set up now I'm gonna go to my animation sharing state processor class and over here in our actor I'm gonna call cost to any sharing character class like so from there we will set we will get our any sharing state in which state the current in which state the character right now for example if the character is in idle state then this will return the idle and if the character is in running or walk state this will result this will return the result accordingly so i'm gonna now to int convert this to int and set up like this so if you need to change the animation of a certain character for example if you hit the character with bullet or if you change this one character animation then you should set then you should check the should process to true like so we will set up this functionality also if we for example hit the character then the character will change the animation state according to the player according to according to your desire so here is our animation sharing state processor is complete now I'm gonna go to my animation sharing setup and select my animation sharing state processor and set it to over here like so so now if you guys can see my animation states I'm gonna hit plus you guys can see I have now three states idle walk run accordingly that we set up in our enumeration so for this I'm gonna create my three states first will be my idle second will be my walk and third will be my running now we need to set the desired animation for this 
for my idol i'm gonna set this to my idol third person idol like so and for the animation blueprint just leave this none we will set up the animation blueprint in later so you guys can read the documentation for further reading what these properties will do in the ue4 documentation here so now i'm gonna move further to my walk and set the animation setup to walk like so third person walk and similarly for my run, running I'm gonna set this to third person run like so so here is my animation shading setup is initially completed that works fine for our for our initial step for using the animation sharing plugin so for setup our animation sharing plugin in our character class we need to create this functionality in the documentation that you guys can see in our character class at begin play so first thing I'm gonna create animation sharing manager and set up the animation sharing setup class after this we will get anim sharing animation sharing manager like so and after this we will register actor and the actor will be our this so I'm gonna reference to myself and set the sharing skeleton to UE4 mannequin skeleton which is the same that we have set up in our animation sharing setup so this is the desired functionality for running our animation sharing plugin for this character class so I have already created a animation sharing map so here is my animation sharing map which is the default sky default sky like map and if I hit simulate you guys can see my so I have placed five instances of this animation sharing class in my level like so So if I hit play, you guys can see each of my character is playing a idle animation. So now if I change the animation sharing state to walk, you guys can see my characters will now play walk animation like so. So these are all the characters which are using the animation sharing animation sharing plugin functionality. So I have shown you I have shown you guys the crowd behavior at the beginning of the video. So all the characters in my crowd functionality is using the animation sharing plugin. So right now the animations are playing at default speed which is the same speed for each character and also there is not any animation changing functionality is now set up. So in our next tutorial we will set up the animation changing functionality for example if I hit, if I hit some of the character then the character will play different animation that we have set up so that functionality will be done in our next tutorial and also we will set up 
the functionality for changing the animation for example these are all the characters which are running at the same speed or running at the same time so this looks so mechanical so we will also remove this functionality also in the next tutorial so thank you for watching i hope you guys like this video so do subscribe my youtube channel and also you can support me on patreon and gain access to all the project files and you can contact me over there thank you guys thank you so much